Hi, my name is Sean Mabry. I am a writer, and today I wanted to talk about my experience this weekend with the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books, which was hosted at the uh, UC... No, not UC. I'm always so used to saying UC because I went to UC Santa Barbara, but USC, the USC campus, University of Southern California. That's right. Not University of California. Um, wonderful time. It was really cool. The energy was great. There were a huge amount of people. I was not expecting it to be such a huge event. Um, this is actually my first time ever going. And yeah, there was just a swarm of people and um, in a good way. <laughs> there were, uh, um, they had it broken up into sections like young adult, travel and wellness, um, food trucks. I liked that section quite a bit personally. Um, but no, it was really cool. Um, I got to see a few of the conversations they were hosting and um, just was overwhelmed with all the new, or at least new to me, authors I was discovering and I bought more books than I probably have room for in my budget, or both my time budget and my money budget, um, but it was great. I mean, it was so nice to connect with other authors and talk with them about the business side of things and um, kind of get some, some insights, some, some peaks down the road on my own path. And, uh, um, you know, the thing that leapt out to me most, and this is, I think, a, a lesson I am keeping in mind for myself, because I've made a commitment one way or another, I'm going to have a booth there next year. Um, maybe split with other people, maybe on my own, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to be a participant next year. Um, authors, when you're selling your book, you know, it, especially in a context like that, where it's in person, you know, live, um, just grabbing people out of the crowd, you know, do something to stand out. Because that was the thing I noticed over and over again, is that there were, you know, really, honestly, the majority of booths, it was just people sitting there quietly with a stack of books in front of them and, you know, may, um, possibly wonderful books. And in some cases, I did stop to talk to those people, but the ones that grabbed my attention and ended up getting me to, to buy books, frankly, were the ones that did something interesting. The ones that had um, some kind of interesting display at their booth, you know, something eye-catching, or who start, you know, grabbed me like, a, you know, from 20 feet away <laughs> and started a conversation. Um, and the thing, and again, this is as much a reminder for myself as it is for everyone else, you know, we are creators. It's like I said in a previous video, we writers, we are creators. We are great at ideas. We're great at coming up with things that no one has ever seen before. So apply that same creativity to the process of selling your work. And you know, this I think would even apply if you're pitching to agents or um, potential editors or directly to publishers, you know, Follow the rules, figure out what the rules are and, and you know, do, do the things that do need to be done, but then stand out, you know, do something different, do something weird, because um, it does pay off. And, and again, it's, it's the thing that I'm really excited about for next year, and full disclosure here, I, I am someone who's always been a little bit of allergic to selling myself. I, I, I get uncomfortable about it. I, I still have this voice in my head that says like, no, if it's good, the work will sell itself, which is kind of true, but also kind of not true, especially early in your career. So the thing I'm excited about, finally, um, is that, is, is, is actually using my creativity to make the selling part of the story, to make that part of the process. Because why not? I mean, it's, it's you know, as wonderful as books are, there's so much outside the, the pages too. And you can work all of that into your story, into your mission, into your project, however you consider that. And uh, that's that, that was my big lesson from the weekend and I hope it'll be helpful for you as well. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again next week.